Damien had a good old uh, crack off it uh, and a good crack off Brendan Rodgers last night, uh, Richard. So just get your take on, on Celtic before we move on. Um, you were doing commentary last night, so you had a good close eye on it. Just moving on from it and whenever they gather again for, for training or for meetings, how do you move on from a night like that? Do you watch the video nasty in detail or do you just say, right, let's just put it behind us, lads, and, and go on to the next game? I think it's so bad that they just move on, just forget about it, just try and take it for what it was and just move on. The, the concern for me was the manager needs to learn from it. Um, fair enough that the players didn't play great last night. They, they weren't making passes, they weren't connecting with one another, but it seemed like the setup was was crazy. It seemed very naive and almost when they got back into the game, you go, right, you got lucky now, you've got a, you've got a second chance calm yourselves down, but he just went, kept pressing, kept pressing, kept pressing, kept leaving spaces behind them, left McGregor alone in the centre of the pitch. And it was just, it seemed like he, the manager wanted to go and prove a point and say, look, we're Celtic and we can come here and we can compete with the best. And this is how, this is my style of football. And it was just the wrong thing to do. Sometimes you've got to be pragmatic in your approach. You've got to understand there's a long campaign this season in the Champions League and picking up points away from home is going to be important. And Celtic didn't give themselves any chance of staying in that game because of the way they just pressed gung-ho in that first half. Is it the kind of nice that could damage the sort of trust that players mm. would have in their manager if they feel that he's sent them out there on a fool's errand? Um, quite possibly. It's it's a difficult one because if the managers set the players a task of going to press and the players have done it as the managers wanted, well then the players know, well that was completely wrong. If the players haven't done it correctly, mm. well then the manager can sort of put it down to the fault of the players. But if the players are looking at the manager going, I'm not sure I want to do that again, what you've told me the last time didn't help us at all, then it can become a little bit fragmented in the dressing room when people start to doubt what the manager really wants from them. I think. Nine times out of ten in their domestic league, they'll, they'll be able to press and make mistakes and win games. But in this competition, they won't. The next game's against Atalanta, and we'll see how they press later. And it's a completely different yeah. style, but it's, um, you can't go gung-ho against these top teams.